In the previous webinar, we introduced the event center function. And this time, I will give you a function demonstration. Click to enter system event center. We first enter the event setting module. Many events can be monitored. For example, for security reasons, user can monitor modify administrator password. User login failed. Extension user password changed. SSH login failed, etc. If you are concerned about the operation status of the device, you can select outgoing call through trunk failed, VoIP trunk restriction failed, extension missed call, storage full, and more. There are two columns optional box can be checked. Record means to record the event, and then you can view or download records in event logs. Notification means to send an event reminder. After checking, a reminder message will be sent to the specific extension or email box if the events happen. You can add receivers in notification contacts. The notification methods include sending an email and a dial extension. You can also customize the notification message template as needed. Now let's check the record checkbox and the notification checkbox of VoIP extension restriction field. Then we need to add a account, account contact. Select an extension. Select send email and fill in the mailbox. Save. Know that you should set up the SMTP server in email module in advance. Then open the soft form. We reject the extension 102 and fill in the wrong password. Reject failed and look by to the page. There is an event reminder on the notification bar. So let's check our mailbox. Look, there is an event reminder, a notification uh, email sent by the UC system. This feature definitely will bring a lot of convenience to users.